Lynn, what's the latest with cancer death rates? Well, it was reported in WebMD last week, the first week of July, that the American Cancer Society just completed a study that shows that cancer rates are actually dropping in the United States. However, that's not the whole story. It sounds like really good news, especially when something like cancer is attacking so many of our friends and family members and many of them are dying. But what the study actually shows is that cancer death rates in men from 2001 to 2006 actually dropped 2% per year. And that does not take into account the number of new cases diagnosed. In women, cancer rates dropped 1.5% between 2002 and 2006. And again, not, the study did not cover how many new diagnoses there were. Overall, that's less than 2% of cancer per year. And at that rate, cancer will never be wiped out because when you add in all the new cancers that are diagnosed, and a loss, which is much higher than 2%, and the loss of, um, or the down rate of 2% a year, cancer will go on forever unless something is done to find a serious cure. Uh, we, we currently spend $200 billion every year to diagnose and treat cancer and for our patient care. And over the years, we have donated hundreds of billions of dollars just for cancer cures, cancer research, and cancer preventative information. But with all that money being donated, where is that money going and why have we not found a cure for cancer with that amount of money in that amount of time? That's over the last couple of decades. My studies have found, I've done a lot of research on this since I've just lost my own daughter-in-law to cancer and many of my friends, is that there's really no incentive to cure cancer. If cancer is wiped out, what happens to the entire industry that's been built around research for cancer cures, research for cancer preventatives? Those people have, have nowhere to go after cancer is wiped out. And so I think there's really no incentive to really cure cancer. I, I think there's uh, incentives to treat cancer, which means an ongoing uh, industry will be there forever. I've recently spoken with a scientist who owns a lab, a scientific lab, and his lab has found a non-toxic cure for cancer. He has done all of his animal trial studies and they were 100% successful. And bear in mind, this is non-toxic, not the chemicals that were pumped into people today through chemothera uh, chemotherapy. He has taken his information to all of the cancer research institutes and organizations that we all donate to, not one of them, not a single one, has ever agreed to even look at his trial studies or even discuss the issue within any depth with him. However, they're all perfectly happy to allow him to make a donation to their organizations. Now that's just one lab and I know there are many others. Consumers ought to be outraged about that because cancer is really increasing in our societies across the world. Chemo's not always the answer, so we do need something else.